I will explain how to start and operate the real-time chart monitor. The real-time chart monitor turns on off the variables usable with KV Studio and displays the values of the variables in a waveform. When you use the real-time chart monitor, drag the desired variables with a mouse. Right-click on the selected area and select the real-time chart monitor from the menu. The real-time chart monitor starts up with the variables in the selected section already registered. You can add and register variables and devices later by double-clicking here. Now, let's see the waveform. Click the Start Tracing icon. You can see the bit on off or the word values in the waveforms in real time. When the Alt key and the right arrow key on the keyboard are pressed together, you can zoom the screen in in the time axis direction. When the Alt key and the left arrow key are pressed together, you can zoom the screen out in the time axis direction. Now, I will introduce several functions you can use in the real time chart monitor. Click the icon to stop tracing. I will introduce you how to measure the time between two points. Acquire the on time of this variable in the real time chart monitor. Click this icon so the cursor A is selected. While this variable is on, locate the cursor A. While cursor B is selected and when the variable turns off, locate the cursor B. Then, the time between the cursor A and the cursor B is displayed here. Let's acquire the time more accurately. First, let's check that cursor A actually matches when the variable is on. When this icon is clicked, cursor A comes to the center of the screen. Or, Ctrl plus A shortcut key also results the same operation. Then, move cursor A to the center of the screen. In this condition, press the Alt key and the right arrow key to zoom in the waveform. You can see it is deviated a little. Adjust a little more and move cursor A to the center of the screen again. Zoom the screen in again with the Alt key and the right arrow key. When no more zoom is available, I press the left arrow key on the keyboard. Please watch here. Right here. A list of values on the cursor are displayed, and this variable is on. When moved to the left, the variable turned off. Press the right arrow again. The variable turned on. As you can see, the variable changed from off to on at this very moment. Let's zoom out the screen by pressing the Alt key and the left arrow key. Let's check that cursor B also matches at the time it turns off from on. Click this icon or move cursor B to the center of the screen by using Ctrl plus B shortcut key. When zooming in the screen again with the Alt key and the right arrow key, you can see a little deviation. Align a little and zoom in again. Move to the center of the screen and zoom in again until you can't anymore. Currently, because cursor B is selected, the value of variable on cursor B is displayed. Move the cursor to the left. Then, this variable becomes on condition. When the cursor is moved back for one unit by pressing the right arrow key, it turns off now. You can see the variable turned off at this very moment. Zoom the screen out by pressing the Alt key and the left arrow key. The time between A and B is the precise on time of this variable. The time is 309.75 milliseconds. Using a cursor, you can easily measure the sensor on time. Next. I will introduce how to improve the visibility of the waveform. First, let's change the color. Let's change the color of this variable displayed at the bottom. 
To change the color, double-click the corresponding variable and change from this menu. Today, let's use this color. As you see, the color of waveform changed. Next, I will explain how to change the order of waveforms. To change the order of waveform, go to the list and use the drag and drop operation with the mouse. For example, to move this to the top, drag and drop at the top by using a mouse. You can easily change the order of waveforms by dragging and dropping with a mouse. Now, I will introduce how to display multiple waveforms by overlapping. Right click in this area and select on this menu. These number 13th and 14th variables are the current speed and the instructed speed of the motor. By overlapping, we can check the responsiveness of the motor. Specify number 13th and 14th variables in the same group of group 1. Click OK. Then, these variables are overlapped and displayed. You can zoom in the waveform to the y-axis direction when the control key and the up arrow key. Zoom in like this. Then, press the alt key and the right arrow key to zoom into the time axis direction. You can see at a glance how much the instruction speed and the current speed of the motor match. The light blue section is the instruction speed, and the red section is the current speed. By displaying the waveforms overlapped, you can see how much the responsiveness changed just by looking such as when executing tuning. These were the functions to improve the visibility in the real-time chart monitor. To the real-time chart monitor up to 64-bit type variables and up to 24-word type variables can be registered.